Hey everyone, this is Maniac aka the Tinker that here and uh, let me start this video with an unusual side. So this what you see here is not my usual workbench but this is my media center and or media server. So since the invention of uh, digital video every day's life comes to the moment when you realize that you need a real media server or something that is close to real media server so this is an old PC uh, I just uh, strapped a couple of HDDs into it and that's it now storage is running out and the weather gets unusually hot so I have to solve heat problems so first of all let's uh, just open this guy up Okay, so this is a Zalman R1 PC case, and yeah, it's dusty, I know. Uh, so from Air Airflow's point of view, this case is pretty much a nightmare. Um, this is an old case, so I'm not doing a review about it or something like that. Um, instead, I will have it replaced with another one which is a fractal design define air 4 uh, it is an, also an older case but uh, pretty much suits my needs so as you can see I have four HDDs here and Saki cab cable management so does that uh, cooling was adequate uh, for some time but um, if I uh, decide to put more HDDs into this case then airflow will be even even worse so I will definitely have to replace those I mean replace the case and move the HDDs to a new case okay so what's the plan here uh, besides of getting a new case because uh, uh, this motherboard can barely handle any more HDDs it has a uh, five uh, SATA ports and we have an SSD here at 4 HDDs so pretty much that's it. So what next? I bought an LSI uh, server grade expansion card. This is an expansion card which enables you to put more HDDs and connect those to your motherboard. I will install that one and that solves my HDD problems. The card itself supports 8 HDDs are running on SATA 3 so that's more than what I need at the moment but the problem with that card is it runs really hot and I will definitely not be able to use it in this case because of the Saki airflow and I have a bad feeling about using that even in the new case even though the define airflow uh, air 4 has adequate airflow much more better airflow than this one uh, that card runs at i don't know uh, 100 celsius degrees or something like that so it's pretty hot and it will just heat up the whole case so instead i decided to mod the card so these cards are different uh, designed for a server grade environment uh, which means an air conditioned room um, running around or even below uh, 20 Celsius degrees which is something I don't have at the moment I mean no server room here and I have no reason to air con to turn on air conditioning and, and uh, cool the room below 20 so what can I do? Uh, I will switch back to my workbench and I will show you my plans. So this is the card in question. Uh, I will link it in the description. You will see that uh, these ones are really cheap on eBay and basically everywhere where you can buy used cards. Um, you have to know that when you're buying this one new it's let's just say it's too expensive for an average cons consumer but um, you can be really lucky and have a nearly 
um, unused one that is just uh, thrown out of a data center or something like that because uh, basically what these guys in data centers do that as soon as the warranty is lost in these cards they will just replace them because in the data center storage is like the most important thing and they can't just risk failures so this one is like new and believe it or not this is uh, seven years old but uh, it still has the kick what i need i mean it supports eight SATA three HDDs or SSDs, so more than for more than what I can ask for. Okay, so as you can see, this card has a small heatsink, and I mean small. This is made of aluminium, and even in idle operation with no HDD attached this one gets really hot like you can touch it for even for half a second or something like that it literally burned my finger when i the first time i touched it so yeah those are the two ports just let me show you the cable um in case you're not familiar with this kind of technology so this cable is called mini sas and on the other end there are the four SATA ports okay so back to the card I will just have this heatsink replaced with uh, something which is much more fitting to my needs and fitting to the environment this card will run in so here comes the big boy this cooler is I think it was sitting on some old EMD processor from the EM2 era so this is pretty old but uh, still fits my needs and luckily for me this part of the cooler is pretty much the same size as the central unit of the card just let me remove this heatsink okay so here we go so i just need to modify this cooler a bit and i will be able to fit it onto the cart uh, some might say this is all this could be overkill but hey um, it's april and it's already hot outside so why not even if it's overkill uh, it will make sure that the car stays cool and the data transfers will stay stable and I will be one happy dad without uh, having to worry about losing data due to overheating and unstable uh, SATA expansions so what next? Um, I will take my camera and go down to my workshop and with the Dremel hand tool I will modify this cooler to fit to the cart and I will still have to find a way to, to properly mount it but for the first time I think zip ties will be enough and we will see how this works out also I will um, apply some uh, thermal paste that is meant for CPUs just for extra, extra uh, connection between the heatsink and the card and this is a 4 pin connector on the heatsink so I will be able to uh, just connect it to the motherboard of the media server and have it uh, automatically adjust uh, to the case temperature so if uh, stuff gets hotter inside the server case then this will just crank up and hopefully the card will stay cooler okay so be right back let's get down to the workshop we're down in my workshop and sorry but i won't show you around uh, it's pretty much a heap of mess 
at the moment because during the winter I haven't used it and spring cleaning is still on the to-do list. So this is just the cooler mounted ready for the cut. I've um, made some markings for the cut itself and let's see how this works out. I'm not even halfway yet. Unfortunately this cut seems to be a bit complicated than I first thought it would be. So as you can see the Dremel is uh, bending the fins on the heatsink and <clears throat> also it makes a lot of dust. I mean uh, aluminium dust is pretty much all over the place and uh, the cut is much much slower than I expected because of the fins moving around and I don't think I have a way to mount them somehow or, or just to make them stay in place so while the cut is definitely possible and at some point I will be done with it it will take much longer than I expected okay I will just let the tool cool for a bit, have a cool drink myself or something, then I will get back to it. Okay, one and a half hour later. Uh, let's just say this is not my proudest cut, but uh, hopefully it will do. So I'm heading back to the study and we'll try to install this on the card. So let's hope it works out fine. After some minor adjustments basically the cut is done and even it doesn't look too professional it does its job and fits nicely to the card. So all is left for me is to figure out how the, will I mount this to the card because um, there are some mounting holes for screws probably on the card one here but okay so there's exactly one that I could use and I could probably use these somehow I mean these were responsible for holding the original heatsink but they doesn't seem to be that strong strong enough for this larger heatsink so first let me try mounting the heatsink with a zip tie or a couple of zip ties. Let's see how that works out. So here's the final product, if I can call it that way. Uh, interestingly enough, um, zip ties didn't work out quite well, so I had to ditch that idea, but uh, instead I managed to reuse the original mounting clips. Here you can see one of them and actually the result turned out way better than I expected so I will try to show you yeah those two clips hold it just fine and sturdy enough so I tried to bend it and try to I mean not bend the card obviously but uh, bend the clips somehow because I wasn't convinced they are sturdy enough, but they are. So I just uh, managed to use some hard sturdy wires and simply wired that uh, heatsink to the mounting clips. So just you can see the wire had to be careful though to not break it or something like that but for now it looks fine so I will have to leave it what I have I can't wait to be honest to put this into the server and make some temperature measurements somehow first of all obviously I would try to see if I can touch the heatsink obviously or <laughs> Okay, so hopefully I will be, and hopefully the heat problems will be gone. So that's it for now. 
I'm gonna install this into the server and show you the final outcome. And finally, here's the card in operation. So first of all I had to reorganize uh, the cooler cables in the case because it turned out that uh, the motherboard has only one uh, four pin connector which means um, when I connected this card to a three pin connector then that uh, cooler that was designed for CPU started spinning at max speed and it was loud and by loud I mean holy shit holy Batman loud <laughs> to be honest I think this cooler was never spinning I have never spin ever on max uh, on, on its max <laughs> and I was just totally surprised and shocked how loud it can be but now it's let's just say I'm satisfied okay I need to clean up the cable management a bit but I don't really care because uh, as you can see this is still in the old Zalman case I just really wanted to see the card in operation and it works it works fine I'm just really really happy with the outcome so what next I will obviously move the PC or server should I even call it that way for now uh, into the new case and I will do some proper cable management add more HDDs and basically that's it so hopefully it will be done during the weekend and then I can turn my attention to some other project for the time being obviously I have big plans for this server because uh, it's not really a server I mean no ECC RAM and stuff like that so I can work on it but for now it will do okay so thank you guys for your attention uh, thanks for watching this and if you like this or if you like the whole idea then just give me a like and a subscribe thank you very much and see you next time